Hi everyone, it's Mary from Studio Us and I'm bringing you another project that you can do right at home. Today we're going to be drawing a really sweet clownfish, just like Nemo, and we're going to be coloring with marker. As always, I have my Bristol paper ready to go and a pencil, a Sharpie, and an eraser. Let's get started. I went ahead and I marked the center of my page as always as a sort of guide and I went ahead and I drew our first shape in and I'll walk you through it. Go ahead and mark how far out that first shape goes on the left side of our paper and where it comes to a point on the right side of the paper. I also marked how far down it came and how far up it went as well. I gave myself some dotted lines making note of the curve that's down here in the left and then going up to a point, back down, wide again, and then up and over. Go ahead and draw that in. Up next, we're going to overlap this first shape we've made, and we're going to draw in the tail fin. So I'm going to mark how far out that fin is going to go. I think it's about that wide, maybe a little further out. And I'm going to give myself some dotted lines to get that shape in there. It's gonna come down and in like this before curving around inside of our first shape. Coming out and slanting downward slightly before rounding back up into that fin shape. Clean up any lines you need to and go ahead and draw that in. For our next step, we're going to erase these inside lines here. So all we have is an outside shape. Go ahead and erase that now. Very good, let's keep going. Next, we're going to add a very large circle on the right side of our fish. This will be our fish eye. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna mark where I think that starts. Again, there's not a lot of space from the top of our fish to the start of that eyeball. And it looks like it's gonna come down to about here. And don't forget, there's a tiny little curved line uh, maybe about right here, just a, a, a small distance from our eye. That is going to be the gill that will then help us draw in the fins. Let's keep going. All right, we have another uh, semicircle inside of our eye. It looks sort of like a crescent moon now. Um, so go ahead and mark that. I'm gonna give myself some dotted lines so you can see what I mean. Just like that, it's one line that's going to come around and in. Go ahead and draw that. That will be the pupil of our eye. And then we're going to go ahead and draw our fin, just like I mentioned. I am going to mark that line right here. It's just a short distance from the top of this little curved line we made. It's going to come up and over and around like this before it meets back into our curved line as part of our fin. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw that in and clean up any lines I need to. All right, up next we have some uh, fins along the top of our fish. It looks like our first one is going to start right about here and it's going to come up and over just like this to about right here. And then we have one more that's going to meet kind of at this point that separates this tail fin from the body. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw that. It goes up and then back down like that. Perfect, go ahead and draw those in. We're gonna add some tail fins down here now. Same sort of principle. Go ahead and mark where that first fin starts and ends. Looks like right about here, it's pretty small. It's just gonna come up and around and back down like this, perfect. And then one more, this one's uh, noticeably larger and it's going to go to the same point across from this fin that we made up here. So I am going to go ahead and bring it around and back in like this. 
go ahead and draw that in. We're going to double those lines now uh, to add a little detail to our fin. So what you're going to do is you're basically going to draw this exact same outside line that you've made, just a little bit smaller and inside. So I'm going to go ahead and just follow that line, giving myself a little bit of space in between the two. Make sure that the space stays, uh, or the width of those lines stays the same all the way around. All right, we're gonna add a small little fish mouth. It's just a small curved line up front. And then we're going to start adding some lines. Now clownfish have these really cute little white stripes. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and draw those in. I see a stripe that's going to start right about here and come up and then down as well. These stripes are pretty tiny. Go nice and slow. Just like that, I have my first stripe in. The other one uh, curves the other direction. It's gonna come around like this. Again, make sure that your stripe uh, is consistent. It stays the whole uh, or the same width all the way down. Very good. All right, we're gonna add a small uh, little stripe on our fin, just like we did with these fins right at the end. Perfect. And then I'm going to add another stripe up here and a few down here. So. I see one up here by the eye that's very curved. I'm gonna go ahead and draw that in. And then I see one more back here. Uh, this one is slightly curved, but not as dramatically as the one we just drew. Perfect. And then we have two little stripes down here by the tail. I see one right here, uh, pretty close to these uh, fins. And then one more, this one's a little bit more slanted. Just like that. Perfect, our clownfish is looking great so far. All right, next we're going to add some coral down here. But right now for this step, all it looks like is little bumps. Do your best and try to get those bumps at the correct height uh, and just sort of place them in. I'll show you what I mean. First, I'm going to mark where that first bump is. I think it's right about here. And I'm just going to slowly talk my way through how I see the next bumps, or where I see them, I should say. So once I draw that one in, the next one's going to come up, and then down, over, before it goes up again. And do something similar when you uh, get to this step. Talk it through. So long as these shapes maintain uh, their roundedness and have some variation, that's perfect. We just want this to look as realistic as possible. So go ahead and do that. All right, and that's our fish. Now that we've finished drawing our clownfish, we can go ahead and take our Sharpie and go over all the lines that we've made. Once you do that, you'll take your pearl eraser and you'll erase away any pencil lines you have left. After we do that, we can go ahead and color. All right, now that we've gone over our drawing with our Sharpie and then our eraser, we're ready to start coloring. Whatever materials you're using, go ahead and find a nice light blue, uh, purplish blue color for our water. I'm using marker, so I'm going to take this light blue here and I'm going to fill in all of the water around our fish first. Go nice and slow, try not to go over any of the lines that you've made. And once we fill in that background, we can start coloring our fish and coral. Let's get started.
All right, now that we've gotten that water uh, colored in, we can go ahead and color in our coral down here. Now, keep in mind there are three distinct colors in there. We have a nice sort of peachy color that acts as a highlight. We have a regular sort of pink that acts as our, our sort of medium tone. And then we have a shadow that appears to be orange. So I am going to use this beigey tan color for our highlight, this bright pink color for the rest of the coral, and this darker orange as the shadow. So I'm going to start by blocking in our highlights first. Now these highlights appear to be at the top of each of these bumps and they sort of uh, take on this sort of fluid um, sort of drop shape similar to that or like a little bean shape. So I'm going to go across my drawing and I'm going to block these in. They're not directly at the top, there's a little bit of space. So make sure you get that space in there, but go ahead and block in those highlights. Then we can go ahead and color, cover the rest of our coral with our pink. Excellent, now that we've blocked in those highlights, go ahead and take your pink and fill in the rest of the coral. We can layer our shadow, uh, our orange on top of that. Make sure not to go over the highlights you just colored. Excellent, our coral looks beautiful. And now we can go ahead and layer on our shadows to build them up even further. If you notice, the orange shadows are almost there to sort of separate the coral into sort of individual um, bands or strips, right? Um, so they are going to start at the bottom and sort of come up a little bit where each of those bumps are. So I'm gonna give a little uh, example. I'm gonna go like this, go straight down, and then sort of uh, feather off like this and it's gonna do the same thing here, kind of all the way across our coral. So you'll see that the parts where the orange is tallest is where there are these sort of invisible lines that come down from our little bumps. So go ahead and do that across the page. I might take a lighter orange just to sort of blend that out a little bit further, but go ahead and do that now. All right, very good. Our coral looks beautiful. Looks like a perfect place for our clownfish to stay. And now we can go ahead and actually color in our clownfish. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to color in all of the black stripes that I see. The inside pupil of the eye is also black, but I'm going to do this first so I can make sure that I keep all of my white stripes white. Go ahead and do that now. All right, now that I've cover, uh, colored in those black sections of my fish, I can start blocking in the nice oranges and yellows that we have on our clownfish body. But before I do that, I'm going to take a gray and I'm going to put a light shadow at the bottom of my white stripes. And I'm going to do that now because it's going to remind me not to color those sections. When people draw this clownfish, it's very, very easy to accidentally color a white stripe black or to color it orange. So I'm going to add my shadow now. I see a shadow just along the very, very bottom of our white stripes. So I am going to go ahead and make a small line and color that in. And again, that is just to remind me that those lines are white. All right, now that I've done that, I can start blocking in the highlights on my fish. Now, because our clownfish is orange, I'm going to need a yellow for my highlight. I'm gonna use a light orange for sort of the body of my fish, and then a darker regular orange for those shadows. So I'm going to start by taking this yellow and blocking in those highlights along the top of our clownfish. 
Again, only coloring in the orange sections. Excellent. Now that I've done that, I'm going to take my light orange and I'm going to color in all of the orange sections of my fish. We can layer the shadows on top. Excellent. And now that I've done that, I can take my darker orange and block in those shadows. I see those shadows at the bottom of our fin and at the bottom of our body. All right. And now that I've colored in those shadows, we're done with our project. Thanks so much for tuning in. We can't wait to see what you guys came up with and check into Studio Us later for more projects. Stay safe.